What's going on? Welcome back to another Marvel Snap video. Today we're gonna to be going over what I honestly believe is one of my best and most creative decks that I have ever made. I have put in a lot of work with it over the last two days, over 200 games, so that we can have a really good sample size for you guys. I think y'all are really gonna enjoy this one. Let's get into it. Before we continue, I wanted to thank today's video sponsor, NordVPN. I imagine many of you already know what a VPN is, but if not, it's a virtual private network. And I use one for private and security, which is very, very important to me. Whenever I activate it on my device, it creates a secure tunnel for my data and it will encrypt that data. So if anybody tries to gain access to it, if I'm out in a public place or anything like that, it's just gonna show up like a bunch of gibberish. So they actually can't gain access to my files. One of my favorite features is the mesh net feature. This is really, really cool. It allows me to share files between my devices without having to worry about the size of them or even quality downgrading. It also allows me to access my devices and files from anywhere in the world, and I can even browse on that device through its IP. It's crazy. And they also have a 30-day money-back guarantee for all users, so you can try it, and I think that you will notice that you actually feel a lot safer with it than without. And if you're somebody who works in a public place, like a coffee shop or you travel for work and you use hotel Wi-Fi or any sort of public Wi-Fi, you already know that you're at risk and people can gain access to your files and your personal information. With NordVPN, it will help protect you from those cyber criminals who are trying to take advantage of you. I've been watching lots of podcasts and videos on this kind of stuff recently and the technology of those cyber criminals is only advancing and thankfully NordVPN allows me to protect myself from that. So if you guys are interested in it, check out the link down below. I promise you will be happy to protect all of your stuff. So today's deck is made up of Ghost Spider, Iron Fist, Dagger, Ravona, Renslayer, Cloak, Ironheart, Mystique, Vulture, Hope Summers, Iron Man, Cannonball, and yes, the Living Tribunal. So this deck actually first started off with Havoc in it, as you can see right here. So if you don't have Cannonball, you can throw Havoc in the deck and uh, it worked, but you can also just put in other things if you would like to there within that spot because we've got Ravona. If you wanted to play goblins or anything like that, you uh, can definitely do that. But the deck started off, we've got 92 games with it right here, as you can see with a 57% win rate uh, and plus 27 cubes, which isn't the best being uh, 0.29 per game, but still positive 27 I'm happy with, especially with a deck like this. Uh, um, and then when Cannonball came out, we made this version right here, um, which as you can see, we have put in 130 games. If you guys know anything about me, it's difficult to stop playing sometimes. Um, this deck at 100 games had a 60% win rate and we were at plus 51 cubes. Um, you guys hear me talk a lot about what I believe is deck-based matchmaking, or as I call it, the wall. Um, we were winning a lot up into that 100 games, and I felt like we just kind of hit a wall where I was facing destroy decks with Enchantress in them. And just like the most random things that were beating us for a lot, um, but we continued to push through and continued to play. 55% uh, win rate and plus 28 cubes for that one. So 130 games plus this, over 200 games there uh, with over uh, 60 cubes gained, which is awesome. And the deck is incredibly fun. Uh, the way that you play it is really just try and sneakily uh, take advantage of Hope Summers, moving your cards around. So say playing Hope Summers on turn three and then playing Iron Fist Vulture on top of Hope Summers on turn four, therefore allowing you to potentially play Ghost Spider, moving that Vulture to another location and playing Iron Man on top of Hope Summers. And then final turn, if you have Tribunal, you can play Tribunal right there or you could play Mystique and something else on a different location. Now, I wrote this down because I find it incredibly interesting um, who we've been able to beat with a deck like this because one thing that you guys will know about me that might not be true about you is a lot of times I can be very stubborn. And so I stay in games that I know that I shouldn't just because I want to prove a point to myself or something like that. So if you're a little bit better at resisting those stubborn thoughts, 
then your win rate and net cube gain with this deck could be higher. Um, but I wrote this down. We've beat the number 14 person in the game twice with this deck, uh, as well as the number 28 and the number 29. And those players were playing uh, Loki, Discard, and Thanos. Um, so the best top players in the game playing the best top decks in the game were caught off guard and beaten by this deck even when there were some things that went really, really good in their favor. So we've got a lot of games that y'all can watch and kind of see how this deck works. Again, I think you'll really like it, and I hope that this is something that encourages you to stay creative. For me, it is incredibly boring and stale to play decks that other people have made um, that are just, uh, or not that other people have made, but that are the top decks. I think it all comes to creativity. If somebody makes a really cool deck that I think I would enjoy, I'll play it. But when it comes to things like Thanos and now Discard, which makes me sad because historically I've loved to Discard, uh, but with how strong they are, I don't feel challenged creatively or skill-wise when it comes to winning with those decks. And so if you're somebody like that, I just want to encourage you, continue to try and be creative, pushing the game forward, um, showing the depth that the game has. I know this is a long little spiel at the beginning, and some of you might not be watching, but if you're still watching, I promise you, you're really going to enjoy these games. Let's jump into them. All right. So, Heli Carrier Enjoyer, be fun. Interesting. We'll throw Ravona down just in case this is like Isla Silence or something. Interesting. Oh. -oh. So I can go Cloak and uh, Dagger, move Dagger and then go Ghost Spider. Oh yeah, this is gonna be huge for us. So we'll go dagger. Ghost spider. Iron heart. Okay. Obviously, they could very, very well have a Shang-Chi in their deck. Which would uh, bum us out just a little bit. But maybe we go cannonball right here and just I don't know knock it somewhere highest power enemy card I mean this this also might be smart for us is that a Shang-Chi that we're gonna see yeah so obviously Shang-Chi is a bit of a bummer there um Um, <clears throat> they could be playing Eliath or something like that. If we add nine, let's see, we're currently at 27. So that would be 36. So that would be 10, 11, 12 on each location. Maybe. Give it a rip. Oh. Victory. Wow. Okay. <sighs> I was going to say probably unranked, but also could be a bot. I, I hate, 
I hate that they've said that there are no bots and then it's been proven that there are bots and now we just don't know. <laughs> like, it feels like such a bummer sometimes. I'll go here. Because if I can get another Iron Fist Vulture, that'll be pretty freaking good. Hopefully we can play a card here. Huh. Okay. Oh, I should have gone to Icebox with it. So that I could have pulled it to the middle. Ah! Aid my hand. I think I'll, I'll snap against them. Because we'll throw this down. And then this. Two, four, six, eight. They're just going to go up to 16. Um, now the question is, where are they going to play all of their freaking cards? I've got a feeling they're going to put their cards over here. Nice. Ah, okay, maybe not. What do we have here, good sir? I almost think... Um, I don't think they have a Shang-Chi. Like, this right here would be the play. to generate the most power. Yeah, they're playing like a surfer deck. Patriot surfer, something along those lines. All right, sick. The mystery intrigues me. Pretty sure we got this. Cerebro! Close, but no cigar. Do we take all the locations down? Oh! That one popped up and scared me a little bit. Let's go. Victory. I've been facing a lot of the same people today. It's been very strange. Like that's, an, that's kind of an odd experience to have with games like this, facing the same people. I get it from a, from a rank standpoint, um, but it just makes me question like, the number of players yeah, it's it's a bit strange all right we're gonna go dagger vulture and then probably cloak right here kind of high key hate that oh i think maybe this is the line to generate the most power without wasting energy. Okay, looking like a hella deck, so we'll see if we can take them out. Give me some good. Ah, I could end up biting us in the butt. Oh wow, sick, dude. Yes, what? I'll snap on him. Um, wait, Frig, dude. Oh my gosh, this is one of the reasons why move can be so tough. I mean, I almost feel like I should, um, like I wish I could play Vulture, it could move, and then I could move Dagger over, but that isn't really how move works. Um, we'll just do this. That's a bummer. Wow, okay, filled in the middle. Mm. 
minions to me. Ronin. Oh. Well, okay. I am Iron Man. <clears throat> I mean, they're completely full. So now, um, I guess I just need to do the math, huh? Be. Oh, wait a second. If you can't destroy it with a rock. Oh, dude, frig yes. It can't move. Heck yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Come on. There he is. There's Cannonball working in his prime. Ladies and gentlemen, come on. Oh, that was so good. All right, not bad here. We actually have some pretty good potential. If we draw into uh, Tribunal, then I'll snap, especially with this. Um, okay. No Tribunal yet. <laughs> I'm going to go Vulture right here. And then I'm going to go uh, Ghost Spider and then Cloak over here. Oh, they're not even ranked. Oh, what are they going to get? Ghost Spider. Cloak. We really need to draw into Living Tribunal here to have, to have our best shot at winning. Oh, that's fine. Mm. Definitely don't want them to move over Man Thing, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did. <clears throat> uh, at this rate, I guess I wouldn't mind them moving it. Sure. <clears throat> Go to the right, maybe? Yeah, cool. Oh, it's going to be pretty big time right there. Uh, unless we get Iron Man here, we can send it to the middle. No, we can send Dagger to the middle, but that will not be enough, my friends. Um, well, could it be enough? It would be six more, which would be 10, which means if they played anything, they would be in trouble. So here's what I say we do. I say we go Iron Fist, Dagger, and Iron Heart. That's pretty big. We can play some draw cards. Yeah. Uh, I think we still get it. Yep. Dagger. Woo! 20. Let's go, dude. Come on, baby. Nice. Victory. Cannonball knocking this thing over again. That's sick. Surprised they put that much power there. That was pretty solid, especially with them playing Cable and Agent 13. Uh, on that final rip. Let's go. Okay. That might help us out. Because that means we can play Tribunal on 5. And then Cannonball if they've filled up on 6. So that, that could end up being pretty good for us. Yes, thank you. Um, I'll, I'll snap. Let's, uh, let's get this rolling, huh? <clears throat> we'll go dagger and then cloak ah okay so most likely an enchanter is coming down here on top of this lizard is what I would guess dagger 
Cards that cost two can be played here. I don't know if they're gonna play over here, but we're gonna we're gonna go for this anyways. What you gonna give me? It's fine. Dagger? Cloak? <sighs> okay, so I can go cannonball, hopefully move gladiator over here and then uh, move dagger second. Mm, I don't like this one freaking bit, dude. No, don't send it to the middle. They definitely have a Shang-Chi. Um, frig, man. Ooh, but I can keep this alive. I can keep this alive. I can keep it alive. Here. Here. Come on. Let's outplay him. Let's outplay him. Play that Shang-Chi over there on the side. You know you want to. Uh-oh. What just happened? Such is my judgment. Okay, I knew that was coming. Enchantress. <laughs> gotcha with your double friggin' Shadow King Freak nonsense. King. Freak out of here, man. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's going to be it for our Cannonball deck. Cannonball seems like a lot of fun, actually. Um, and against Thanos, it seems super strong because they do fill stuff up fairly frequently. Um, I think you could play it inside of a junk deck as well just to put more stuff on their side so that hopefully your Cannonball can destroy. Um, but yeah, it's going to be it. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching. See you on the next one. Peace out.